So if you've been making TikTok shop videos as, an, as a creator, as an affiliate, and you've been wondering whether you should get samples or you're kind of bummed that you have not been able to get samples, I wanted to kind of go over the reasons why I have decided to cut down drastically on the number of samples that I'm getting as a creator down to probably just like, I'm not going to say zero, but I definitely do not want to keep getting samples for, for all of these reasons. I'm going to be eating my lunch while I'm recording this video. Yay for me. This is my second video of the day. The first video I recorded before work and then now I'm eating lunch. So let's get into it. Was that a cool sound effect or what? Anyways. So yeah, some of the reasons that you might want to get samples off the TikTok shop is because you don't want to use your own money, right? That would be the number one reason is to get samples without paying out of pocket. But these are the reasons why I no longer want to get samples anymore and why you may consider not getting samples, whether you're getting them now or whether you're hoping to get them. One of the reasons that I've considered not getting samples anymore is because I would get a sample of something and that also includes a sample of the shipping price. So the shop would be sending me the item and then also taking care of this, the shipping cost for me too. So I wasn't realizing that a lot of the items were coming from overseas and they had a shipping cost incurred on the item. So when I was making a video and saying like, you know, this is awesome. And you know, I, I only would give my honest opinion and I would say, you know, I like this item, but then ultimately people would say, well, it's that price plus shipping costs, which, you know, we're in a world where, you know, we've had the pre free two day prime shipping, you know, next day prime or whatever, same day prime, even shipping for free. And, um, people just are used to that. They're used to the whole free shipping thing. So it was kind of a big letdown for people to be like, oh, you know, yeah, it's only these pair of shoes is only $11, but then you've got to add on $8 in shipping not as enticing to get, right? So I figured I would just get the item myself, pay for it myself, and then I would realize whether it had shipping costs or not and decide in my mind if it was worth paying the shipping costs. The next reason that I decided to not get as many samples or no samples at all is because I got tired of tagging the item for the FCC requirements, right? So every time you get something for free, uh, gifted, whatever, um, you're supposed to tag the item and say, you know, this was gifted to me. This is a sample. Like I'm doing this review based on no out of pocket. I don't know, like read the guidelines yourself. I, like I'm not going to give you any advice here, but I'm just saying that I, I kind of just got tired of doing that. Like I felt like every single video I was making was something that I got for free. And then I, I started kind of feeling bad about it. The next reason is because I felt like I was getting more things than I needed. When you get something for free, like at least for me, I felt like I wasn't stopping and thinking long enough. Do I need this? Is it you know absolutely necessary? Am I am I willing to bring this thing into my house? It's a new thing, right? It's new inventory. It's something I've got to store now. I've got to maintain it. You know, I've got to wash it. I've got to have a place for it. Like I felt like when I had the opportunity and I was getting some huge, huge samples. I was getting hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. The most I got was four hundred dollars samples at once. And sometimes during one month, I was getting like. $600 worth of stuff. And, and it's not like it was high price stuff either. It was like small things that were 10, 12, up to $20. So when you <laughs> times that all out to $600, that's, that's a lot of items to have in the house. So I felt like I was just getting way more than I needed. And if I had paid for it myself, I might have stopped and, you know, slowed down and thought, okay, do I really need this item? Do I really want this item? Is this the best item of this type that I could get? Like, for example, I went through a spree where I was getting a bunch of cardigans and, you know, maybe if I had bought them, I would have been more choosy about the specific cardigans that I had picked out rather than getting eight, 10 cardigans. I mean, what the heck am I going to do with all these cardigans? Obviously I'm going to wear them, but now I've got to store them. Now I've got to have a place in my closet for them. Now, you know, so the next thing is I just, I felt like I just didn't value things as much when I got them for free. I think when you pay for something with your own money or you are just more, I don't know, you just more excited about them. You're just, I, I don't know. I just think you value the item way, way more. I'm eating a burrito. And then finally on the last item, this is, I'm not a tax person. I'm not giving any tax advice, but what I understand about free samples is that if it 
adds up to a certain dollar amount. You can be $10.99 by the, um, by the shop or by TikTok. I'm not really even sure who gives you a $10.99, but you would have to claim it as income on your taxes. Now, thinking back to, like I said, those $600 months where I was getting a bunch of samples, uh, I was getting things that I wasn't really needing or wanting. Why would I want to have that be part of my income? So I wanted to just slow it down, make sure that this is something that I do want in my life and that I would be willing to pay taxes on. If, if it wasn't, then I, I just didn't want to have it. So instead, I want to start thinking about finding products that fit an actual problem, like it's a solution for a problem that I have in my life and that it's the best item for the solution that I that I'm trying to gain, you know, for solving the problem that I'm trying to gain and that I would pay actual money and I do pay actual money for the item. And then I could take the um, purchase of that item. Again, this is not tax advice. I take the purchase of that item as a tax write off rather than it being added to my income. It would be a business write off. So that's just, those are just the reasons that I thought of that. I just don't want to, I'm not saying that I'm never going to do another sample. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm going to basically not partake of very many samples. I, I will only get samples of things that I have in my list of things that I wanted, things that I've considered after I've considered everything, the shipping costs and, and everything that else that I mentioned, and then doing a review on the product. This is going to vastly reduce the number of videos that I'm going to be able to make. It's going to vastly reduce the number of products that I have in my inventory, but I think it'll make me feel better. It'll make me feel like I'm, I'm giving a good review on a good and valuable product rather than just, just, just processing. I was felt like I was just processing, processing, processing. So um, I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you want to subscribe, the subscribe button's also down there as well. So that's it for this video. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, bye.